clear cases for the iPhone 14 Pro Max up next. Welcome and thanks for watching. I'm Ray and if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, tap the bell to get notified when I post new content and give this video a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. So if you spend any time on my channel, you know how much I love clear cases. If I could, honestly, I would rock this phone without a case, but I'm clumsy and accidents happen and cases have saved my phone from damage in the past. And the next best thing to a naked iPhone is a clear case, because not only will you still protect your phone, you can still admire the beauty of this tech. And it's a great looking phone again this year, as always. So I have a few clear cases to look at. Obviously, I got a few mainstays like the Apple clear case, uh, one from Spigen, Taurus, and others. So let's dive right into it and try these cases on the phone. So we'll start with Apple's own clear case. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max clear case with MagSafe from Apple. And this is a PC polycarbonate case. And this case will not yellow at all. So if you want a clear case that will not yellow at all during the lifetime of this case, it is this one, the one from Apple. So before I open this up, let me set some of these other ones aside, make some room. We do have quite a few to look through. So let's go ahead and open this up and try it on the phone. And this looks to be just about the same as every year, previous year's cases. So as always, a great looking clear case from Apple. They designed this just for their um, iPhones. And the buttons are clicky, easy, easy to press, easy to reach this mute switch here on the bottom, or on the side, sorry. Uh, good protection for the cameras. Uh, although there is no other supports in the corner, so if you laid this uh, camera down or on its back, um, this will rock. This will not lay flat. Um, there is good protection around the front to protect the screen, and the the bottom is wide open, so you have easy access to the lightning port, and the speakers are not blocked at all. Again, a good-looking case from Apple, and one I, I get I get every year just because it works so well. This one actually is not as slippery. It doesn't feel as slippery in my hand, um, but it may be slippery on other materials. So let's go ahead and check MagSafe. Obviously this is gonna work with MagSafe. It's Apple's um, and there's a confirmation there. Good looking case. So again, this is a polycarbonate case. This will not yellow at all. The only issue with the polycarbonate case since it's a more rigid uh, material is when you remove your phone from the case you have to bend the case it, it is flex there's flex but I've seen uh, micro fractures develop along these edges here um, it's one thing to keep in mind the case is still functional some people find that uh, cosmetically unpleasant to look at I don't mind it because you can't really see it unless you're looking for it um, but you can get micro fractures or cracks here actually let me uh let me grab my iPhone 13 Pro Max and I think the hammer might be able to see it. If you look on this corner here, there is a bit of a crack. So that is the only downside with the Apple case. Otherwise it's a great case and I always get them every year. Next, we'll just go with whatever's on top. This is the ESR protective iPhone case, and it is the ESR Classic kickstand compatible with iPhone Pro Max. So this is a clear case with a kickstand. And yes, I remember why I got this one, because it, it does have a, a kickstand. It's so uh, convenient to have a kickstand with your case. And this is a clear case, um, again, from ESR. And what's cool about this is typically you see kickstands come out the bottom. And I think I might have one in here, I'm not sure, um, where it's on the bottom of the case. This one has the kickstand here around the camera bezel. So the camera bezel serves two purposes, to protect the uh, cameras and to, to act as a kickstand. And this is TPU. Um, all of these manufacturers, most of these that are TPU, say they are non-yellowing or anti-yellowing. Um, time will tell uh, for the most part though, but I found TPU cases to yellow over time. The back is 
rigid, more than likely uh, PC as well. So the back won't yellow, the sides may, because um, it's a more flexible material. Let's go ahead and put the phone in there. And this is a cool case. There is some micro dot texturing there so that you don't get that rainbow effect. Um, the back is nice and clear. Your cameras are well protected. No material in the corner, so this probably won't lay flat. Yep, and it won't. But there is a good lip around that screen to protect the uh, front face or the front screen from damage when you place it face down. So that's a cool looking case there. ESR um, kickstand case with the metal kickstand. So let's see how this works. Looks like there is a little indentation where you can pull this out. And there you go. Now you have a kickstand and you can watch your shows, whatever you want to watch with the kickstand. Very, uh, I think a very handy um, kickstand as well. Oh, and then you have different viewing angles. <clears throat> if I can catch it on this camera. Viewing angles, so you can adjust it anywhere in between there. And you can watch your favorite shows or, or work on your iPhone if you want to. So that is very handy. Again, Apple protection um, in the corners. There are air bubbles there, so your uh, phone should be moderately protected from drops. Cool looking case and nice and functional. So this doesn't have MagSafe, but it should be able to still be used with the MagSafe charger. Oh. See. And there it is. <clears throat> And I'm too close to my HomePod, I keep activating that. But as you saw, and I'll do it again. Um, and it's compatible with the MagSafe charger. The only thing, since it doesn't have MagSafe, um, you won't be able to use it on MagSafe mount. The charger will work. And as you can see, the MagSafe is sticking there, but you're gonna have to find this sweet spot because it won't jump there like it will with a MagSafe case. But it will work with the MagSafe charger. So nice case from ESR, and I really like this case. I like this integrated kickstand and the way they integrated this kickstand on here. Cool stuff. So this is from Encase. This is their clear case, and I'll put uh, model names and links in the description. And the Encase comes with installation and auxiliary tools for a LCD screen protector, which actually comes with the case. Now that is a awesome addition. They do include a screen protector. Whoops. And it feels like tempered glass. And that is a great to get that screen protector with the case. So encased, if you want the screen protector all in one, you got it with encased. And here is the clear case. and micro dot texturing in there and MagSafe. A good lip around the camera so it'll be protected. Again, this one doesn't have any extra material on the corners um, so it won't lay flat as with the previous ones we've already looked at. But a nice flexible case, good corner protection. Uh, nice front lip around to protect your screen when you place your phone face down buttons are very clicky and it's easy to reach that mute switch opening for the lightning cable and speakers that's a good looking case too from in case and it's nice that they give you the uh, tempered screen protector uh, tempered glass so that your phone will be fully protected on day one if you pick up their case and this one is magsafe compatible Let's just confirm that and there it is nice all-inclusive case from encased cool next up we have this Spigen and this is their quartz hybrid and I always get these from Spigen um, what's cool about the quartz hybrid is the back is made of tempered glass as well so you don't have to worry about the back scratching at all 
And Spigen is known for making good quality cases. The back of that is tempered glass. If I tap the phone, you can usually hear it, yes. Um, and the tempered glass is over uh, their material. It looks like there is some micro dot texturing on there. Let's go ahead and put the phone in here. I really do like these tempered glass cases from Spigen. And I get, and I always take a look at them every year because I like using them. And that looks great on that phone. Really shows off the phone nice, clear back. Uh, again, micro dot texturing so that you don't get the rainbow effect. The buttons are really, really clicky. Good protection on the corners. There are like air bubbles on each corner. So good protection from drops, moderate drops. They do have a little bit of material on each corner, but I don't think it's enough to keep this phone from uh, rocking when you lay it on its back. So this is not going to lay flat. Um, but otherwise, it looks like it's a great looking case. It feels really nice in the hand. This glass really feels good. Um, that is sharp. And that this is a case that will really show off the phone. Again, a great front lip to protect the screen when you place it face down. And although this does not have MagSafe, it should be compatible with the MagSafe charger. And we'll confirm it there. So another winner from Spigen. And Spigen is kind of like that juggernaut. They always have great cases and you can always um, depend on them to give you a good case to protect your phone. Um, also, there is a little opening there for a lanyard if you want to put a lanyard on your phone. Cool. These are piling up. Next, we have Taurus. And Taurus has made really great cases. This one is their diamond uh, clear, slim, clear case. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like on the phone. Cool clear case from Taurus. They already have their protective film on here. Great way to ship that. This one also has micro dot texturing on the side so that you avoid the, uh, the rainbow effect. And again, these are all for the most part, clear cases are all made of the same material. So you'll probably have a rigid, hard polycarbonate back. Um, I'm gonna take off that, protect the film. That's pretty satisfying. So it's really clear. Uh, again, hard, rigid polycarbonate back and flexible TPU sides. Again, all of these say they're anti-yellowing. Um, we'll see how that stands up through the test of time. Buttons are really clicky as in as they are in all Taurus cases. I can notice that they do add a bit more uh, material here on the corners uh, for added drop protection. So your phone is going to be well protected from moderate drops um, and a good size back camera bezel. But again, this one will not lay flat. Openings for lightning port and speakers, uh, everything. I mean, the phone is fully functional with this case on it. You can get to all the controls. Um, and you have protection for the front as well. And again, although this one is not specifically MagSafe, it should work with the MagSafe charger. And there's a confirmation. And that is the Taurus. And I actually uh, have a few more cases to look at from Taurus. So if you want to take a look at their lineup, um, keep an eye out for that video. We have a couple more. The next one is a Rinky. And this is their Fusion iPhone 14 Pro 6.7 matte clear. Now I really like the matte clear cases because the back of the, the iPhones are matte and I like it when the case, the clear case also matches that matte texture. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is a nice clear case from Rinky. They have um, protective film on both sides. And one thing that's great is they put pull tabs because it is a pain in the butt when they don't put pull tabs. So Rinky, thank you for adding those pull tabs to get rid of this protective film. Let's go ahead and put the phone in there before I take the back film off. And this is, again, pretty flexible TPU, same materials um, as all the other phone cases with this, with the exception of the Apple case. Apple case is full polycarbonate. That matte texture really, really pairs well with the, the iPhones. In my opinion, I really do like the matte texture on the back. 
um, so that, that that look continues when you have a case. Good corner protection. Uh, they do have extra material on the top and bottom where the screen is so that you can lay your, your phone uh, face down and have it still be well protected. If you can see that here. Um, and you can still easily access swipe gestures if you need to on the phone. Easy to reach that mute switch. Buttons are really clicky, opening for lightning and uh, speakers. There is a bit of an opening here for a lanyard if you wanted to add a lanyard and good protection for the cameras. Um, there is extra protection on the corners. I am not sure, but yeah, this one also will not lay flat. None of these seem to lay flat this year. Um, I've had some where they add a lot of extra corner uh, material so that it will lay flat, but these cameras are massive this year, so maybe the manufacturers bypass that. Um, but this is a great looking case. I really like that. I really like this, this matte texture on the back of this case. Nice case for Minky. They always turn out great cases. This one's no exception. And as with uh, Taurus, I'll have a look at some other Rinky cases. Um, so if you wanna see what else they have to offer in their lineup, you know, stay tuned for that as well. And last but certainly not least, we have a Totally case. And this case is from Totally. And this one, I believe, if I remember correctly, this one is a very thin case. It's and I like and, and I liked it um, because it was minimal, but this will provide very light drop protection um, for your phone. Oops. And this one also has protective film. You can see it's kind of a, a clear, but this one is really flexible. No film on the inside. So I'm gonna put the phone in here. So if you want a super minimal case, then totally, I think this is the way to go. It's totally the way to go, pun intended. So it looks really cool in there. What I like is it doesn't add any extra bulk. Um, you will probably have to be a bit careful with this one because there is no extra material for the corners for drop protection. This will mostly uh, protect your phone from scratches for the most part. There is gonna provide some drop protection, but I would still be careful with my phone. If we look at this one, the uh, cutouts, there are cutouts for the buttons. So it's not like pass-through buttons like the rest of these. There are cutouts for everything here. So the buttons are gonna be exposed, but that makes it more tactile, obviously, because you can um, reach them and touch them and use them. Power button as well. And opening for the port and speakers. Uh, and they kind of drilled out each hole for the speaker. That's an interesting way to go about it usually. Manufacturers just cut that open, but they probably keep those so that th the case itself is more rigid There is still protection for a lip on the front of the screen so that um, You can lay your phone face down and Again, like I said adequate protection. It's barely there though for the camera well, But it will protect your back cameras But again, this one will not lay flat like the others and your phone will rock but otherwise a good looking case and one that'll show off your phone for sure. So that's gonna do it for the clear cases this year. Um, I think it's a great lineup. Uh, each one of these will do a great job of showing off your phone and offering protection. Um, obviously the two MagSafe ones will allow you to use these with uh, MagSafe car mounts. All of these, and let me just double check this one because I don't think I did, uh, and it should work. Confirmation, all of these, now I can say it, all of these will work with the MagSafe charger. The MagSafe charger will even stick on there. It's just, I wouldn't trust it with a mount, although that's actually holding that. But if you're in a car and you get some some uh, some rugged terrain, I don't, I'm not sure that I trust that to hold that because there is not MagSafe, but as you can see, it is, my phone is able to be suspended from this case using the MagSafe charger. 
and this one is extra thin. Um, your mileage will vary with the rest of these. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't chance it. Uh, but for these two, again, these will work great with mounts. The rest will work with the charger. Um, I like all these cases. Uh, Apple obviously is always a, a mainstay um, as well as the others. And this one from Encase is a nice one, all inclusive. Will include a um, tempered glass screen protector and that's good to have. If you wanna just buy one box and have everything to protect your phone, that Encase is a good choice. And I really like the matte texture on the back of this rinky. So did you find a favorite here? Did something catch your eye for clear cases for the iPhone 14 Pro Max uh, this time around? What is your favorite clear case? Uh, let me know in the comments because maybe I can take a look at that uh, next year because um, I, I like to do these annual clear case videos every year and maybe there's something I missed. So let me know your favorites in the comments. Let me know if you grab the phone and if you like clear cases as much as I do. And until the next one, please take care and be safe out there.